Former players pay tribute to former All Blacks fullback Fergie McCormick. He was an icon of Canterbury rugby. Few would disagree with Bill Bush's summary of former Canterbury teammate Fergie McCormick, who died in Christchurch on Tuesday after a short battle with cancer. He was 78. Bush played in the front row for the province when McCormick, who made 222 appearances for Canterbury between 1958 and 1975 and scored a record 1,297 points, guard in the backfield with a ferocity matched by few other fullbacks around the world. There was only one way McCormick knew how to play. Especially in front of his fellow Cantabrians at Lancaster Park, and that was flat out. Whether he was in action for the All Blacks, Canterbury or his Linwood club McCormick was renowned for his aggression, and desire to win. Although Bush was often buried in the forwards he often knew what was expected from the little general with an 015 on his back. Because McCormick, who played 44 matches, 16 tests, for the Old Blacks between 1965-71, was never afraid to launch into the rough stuff ahead of him. He was an icon, don't worry about that, an icon of Canterbury rugby, ex-All Blacks prop Bush reflected. Ferg, to me was a real inspiration. Although he was a fullback he was always right with us in the forward pack. Tough as teak all right, a real leader. I never saw him get hurt when I played with him. I don't think I ever saw him go down. McCormick was a competitor. Although he only stood 1.7 meters tall, his 83 kilograms frame was loaded with muscle and sinew and he refused to be intimidated. He was well built, all muscle. He was barrel chested, had huge biceps, Bush said. He was one hard man, really. He was a great fullback, a great backstop for us. The stories are sure to flow when McCormick is farewelled at the Linwood Rugby Club on Friday. No doubt many of them will be about what he achieved on the field. There will also be plenty of others about the fun he and his teammates had off it. Or Moral Blacks and Crusaders hooker Mark Hammett, now the Highlanders forwards coach. Never saw McCormick play but enjoyed discussing rugby with him when he turned up at Rugby Park and leaned on the fence to observe trainings. I remember I used to stand there when I was coaching and Dan Carter was kicking them over and he, McCormick, said to me, geez, 
I'm pleased they didn't have stats in my day, Ahmed said. That's what he was like. He was a bloody legend of the game but he just downplayed what he was. I know Robbie Deans used to ring him regularly, spend once a week having a yarn. That's the sort of esteem in which Fergie was held. Bush said if there was mischief to be had when Canterbury teams were on the road, it was no great surprise if McCormick was in thick of it at the back of the bus. That, he said, was an enduring memory. We had a wonderful time as a team. Ferg was inspirational.